video, I'll show you how to capture leads from Swipe Pages forms into Encharge. My name is Anil from marketingautomationfocus.com. Let's get to it. So I'm uh, inside of my Swipe Pages landing page, uh, and I have uh, a form widget or element already inserted, and I've changed it from default to I have just first name and I added email. By default, for some reason, uh, the form widget or element uh, does not have email field. It has phone, phone number, and last, last name or something like that. So um, I deleted those and I entered um, and make sure to select the type uh, of uh, the, the type of the uh, field uh, needs to be uh, email, I believe. Uh, so uh, once you have your form uh, design and the submit button, uh, it doesn't have, as far as I can tell, it does not have uh, a webhook type submission option. It has lead magnet with the, just a message and redirect would be redirected to a URL. Now, if you select redirect without uh, redirect URL, uh, it actually, uh, the form submission works, it doesn't fail, but I believe until it goes to a redirected URL, uh, you, the form submission data may not go through, um, but I'm not 100% sure. But anyways, so uh, I just chose lead magnet, but it may not matter much uh, as far as what I'm, sh I'm going to show. Uh, so save, and I had already published, but you still need to push publish again and go back to dashboard. And here is my form uh, or the landing page. And what you need to do, there are two things that you need to do uh, to make sure for this landing page, you have proper setup. The first one is settings and under settings, you want to make sure that you have in charge site tracking code inserted into other scripts under head section. So I've done that already and I'll show you uh, where to get that from uh, in charge uh, if you don't know already. And the second thing that you need to do is uh, do integrations and since Swipe Pages has an in charge, they have um, a native integration. You got to choose uh, from your integrations tab, you're going to choose in charge. And you can, uh, apparently, you can uh, add multiple in charge accounts if you have more than one. And, uh, and this just requires login with in charge. So, in my case, I have already added that account. And once it's added, then you go back to the pages and uh, integrations. And this shows up uh, down in the bottom here, uh, a little bit in the center of this page. And then uh, you need to actually uh, add integration. So you would click on this in charge integration to set this up, but I've already done that. If I click on here, because it's for this specific landing page, it's gonna tell me that I cannot add more than one. So let's just see here. So it says, please note only one integration of same provider can be integrated for this landing page, okay? So I'm going to, it's a little tricky here. If you click on here, it's just simply going to take you to this uh, domain, but um, I'm going to click a bit towards the right and it brings up the in charge integration setup. I think some people may be missing this. So you select the in charge account, continue. Now in this case, if you wanna use uh, flows for automation, you gotta select um, a, a tag so that you can trigger. Now, uh, if you're thinking that if you're submitting a form, there is a trigger, actually two of them, is the uh, form uh, 
tracking trigger or something I'll show you. And the other one is external form trigger. Uh, so that's another trigger. But there are subtle differences and it seems that those two triggers are not recommended at least. I'm not sure if they actually would work, but maybe uh, you may run into problems. So one option is to use tags. Maybe there are other ways to actually trigger a flow. But in this case, let's just say um, opted, uh, opted in for ebook or something, okay? Then continue, okay? And then I've already uh, mapped it. So you wanna make sure that these are the, on the left side here, is the swipe pages fields, and those are the ones that uh, the form fields, plus there are two other IDs. So uh, swipe pages page and the swipe pages variant, okay? So on the right side, it's the ID name, so it's swipe pages page ID and swipe pages variant ID. These two you don't really have to map, and you could possibly um, skip first name or any other field if you had, if you wanted, so that's not a problem. And the in charge uh, field, then you select, or you could have auto-generate, so if you had something custom uh, in your form and those custom fields have not been created inside of in charge yet, so you could have auto-generate uh, those custom fields on in charge side um, if you didn't I hadn't created that. An email with the asterisk is it's required, um, obviously. And then you, so this is the critical step. You continue and you're finished. And that's all you need to do on uh, swipe pages side. So just assume that I have submitted the form and, um, and let's look at on the in charge side. So now on NCHAR side, this is where you get your tracking code. So under settings on top right, the, uh, the gear icon, and then on the left side, you click on site tracking and you copy your code. And this is the one that I showed you on swipe pages side on the landing page, tracking section under head section, you would put, put this um, tracking code. And then once you do that and save it and publish, so make sure that after you put this code uh, on your swipe pages side landing page area that you look up on top right and click on publish again. Okay, it should turn green after even after you paste and it automatically saves that pasting, but it still requires you to publish uh, intentionally. And once you do that, then you look at under uh, this item number two here that if the code is installed properly or if you uh, maybe you forgot to press or click on uh, publish. So uh, here, if you don't see anything, then you would click on check again and then you will see something like, uh, like this, what you see here. The last event was received uh, at whatever time and date. Okay, there you could do continue to form tracking. That's another topic for another day. Um, but in case of swipe pages, since in charge has a native in integration, um, I recommend, uh, and I think in charge recommends, though, not use um, at least for flow triggering, do not use the form uh, tracking or track form trigger or external form trigger if you have a native integration, okay? So now let's go look at uh, under people if the opt-in form data uh, got inside of in charge properly or not. So uh, let's look at that. So here uh, is the people section where you can see that um, I had you opted in using that form and uh, it captured my email and my first name because that's all I had and um, the last activity and created at uh, is also. So you see uh, there's this anonymous person in the middle here 
uh, that was me. And for some reason, when I switched to native integration, uh, for some reason, uh, it identified me as a different person, different visitor. Uh, uh, for some reason, it did not sync up with this one. Uh, so that's for another day to figure out what, why and what happened there. Uh, so, so now let's go look at uh, flows and um, I was just playing with this. Just wanted to show you something that um, I haven't drawn anything here yet um, for this video, but just wanted to quickly show the tracked form submitted was the one that I had mentioned that one option after you in, in the section of tracking code where the next step was uh, track form submitted. So for this one, if you had that form set up already, it would show up here and then you would select it. But it did not work for me to get my name and email into in charge. And I think uh, that's because of some technicality and in charge in one of their articles. Um, I did read that um, if there is a native integration, then we should use, uh, it's recommended to use the uh, native integration instead of this tracked form submitted. And we should use uh, tag added and or entered a segment and that kind of trigger instead. And the same thing with this external form submitted is the same issue, even though swipe pages is listed here, but it would work only if there was a way to have a webhook as a form of submission. So if webhook gets triggered uh, at the time of submission, so if you remember in Swipe Pages form widget, uh, the submit button didn't have the option, at least it, I couldn't see or find it, where you would specify the webhook URL. And so that's how it would catch it. But apparently uh, there was no option. So I tried that even with webhook um, type of integration outside of the form uh, for the landing page, but uh, it would show me the activity, but it would not um, give me the data like my name and email. So when you have native integration, then these two triggers will not work. And like I was showing you that now if I click here, um, hopefully it'll show me, well, it didn't show me because I didn't submit it after I did the uh, opted in. Okay, so if you, you, in order for you to select that tag, then, um, then you need to actually do a sample data submission. Um, so, uh, after I just showed you that I added for the mapping or for the integration setup in that step, step number two, the tag I added opted in for ebook or something like that. And so once I submit that as a sample data, then the tag sh should show up here for uh, you to select to, to have your flow trigger. And then everything should be, should work fine. All right. That's all for now. I hope you liked it. And, uh, Talk to you later. Bye.